Welcome to Shitty Game Reviews, the show where I give terrible opinions on whatever I am currently playing, with your host, the Wii U Enthusiast. Before we get started, if you want to see my first impressions and reactions to games live, go follow me on Twitch where I try to stream weekly but in reality stream every 6-8 to eight months. Club Penguin Game Day came out on the 10th of September 2010, and well, it was a home console Club Penguin game that came out between 2008 and 2015 so it was the shit. Why play Mario Party 8 when you can play a lower budget versions with obese penguins? But I mean for a kid growing up in the late 2000s and early 2010s, that shit slapped. Considering that this is an early 2010s licensed Wii game, it looks alright. It does help that I'm playing it on an emulator right now, but even on actual hardware it doesn't hurt to play. Well not more, any more than any other Wii game. Fucking 480p. Though my expectations weren't exactly high so there is that. On a scale of shit to garbage, the graphics are crap. Which is somewhere in the middle. Most shitty party games fail in the mini games. You get tic-tac-toe, memory games, and guess which way the stick falls. The games here are overall pretty good. One of my three favourites you didn't ask. Snowball Battle because you can bully your friends. Java Jump because I always win. And Sumo Smash because fat penguins fighting on an iceberg is funny. Does Mario Party have fat penguin death matches? I think not. Does it have boss battles? No again, idiot. But Club Penguin Game Day does. 10 points Club Penguin, 0 points Mario. The boss battles aren't even half bad, they're simple but fun. Except this paint one. It's shitty and I hate it. The game kept character customization, which is cool. You go to the store, buy clothes with the coins you've earned, it's all there. You can only get sports jerseys and stuff. Finally, I can live out my fantasies of dressing a penguin up as a middle-aged man who peaked in high school. The only part of the costume missing is the alcoholism. And finally, this game contains Jeff the Ref. An absolute unit. A Sigma male. Manlier than Hulk Hogan and my waifu. Well, him and Speedwagon. He once went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Matt from Wii Sports. He single-handedly ended World War II when he killed German Charlie Chaplin. He won the space race just despite Stalin and was personally responsible for the creation of r slash hentai, a subreddit with over 2.8 million users. Fast Freeze exists. The game fucking sucks. If you like it, well you a bitch. Is the game badly made? No, not really. Is the game unfair? No, not really. Am I bad at the game? Yes. The minigame RNG sucks. Playing the campaign, you repeat the same three minigames over and over. It's always the bad ones too. Fucking fast freeze and goal. I swear to god I've had to go to therapy because of this. I see the shitty minigames every time I close my eyes. I have PTSD thanks to this. Finally, Dance Off requires you to be physically active. Now you might say it's cool that Just Dance in its entirety is just a minigame here. But I say I'm lazy and have the life goal of being as fat as the penguins I'm playing as in the game. I'ma look like a 55 year old American screaming at the minimum wage teenager in a Maccas and this minigame is trying to stop me. Club Penguin Game Day has a distinct lack of fat Italian plumbers, yet is still better in every way than Mario Party. It has a male sex icon to rival Waluigi and is way more fun to play. I give it a 10 out of 10.